Well, once again, it's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to the glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. Man, how long has it been since you've heard that theme music, theme song, theme tune? So, today's kind of a redemption day for me. I don't know how many episodes of this series I've done, 100 and something, and there's like two or three tools that ended up just being awful. As I used them, they ended up breaking, the video had already been posted, and I'm like, you know, one of those deals. One of those tools was these bad boys right here. So these are pipe expanders, and, uh, problem with these is it's a good idea and concept. Um, pretty heavy duty. I've heard that these will break. I haven't broke mine yet. But the problem is, is that it's just a threaded rod inside of here. You're supposed to use an impact wrench to kind of squeeze that thing together, which makes it expand, expanding the pipe, right? The problem is, is I believe these threads strip over time. And I haven't had any of mine do that. And to be honest with you, with an impact wrench, I couldn't really get this thing to expand any pipe. So I never used it enough to try to break it. So that's always kind of sat in the back of my head, like there's gotta be something a little bit better than this out there on the market. Something that actually works better, is known to be more reliable. So I think I found that for you guys. And that is these bad boys right here. So this kit here is from Lyle, L-I-S-L-E, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Basically the same concept. So it starts off with this section here. Actually, I'm missing a bolt, let me go grab that. So this thing, basically the same concept. So it's got a big heavy duty fine thread bolt. There's actually a bearing in here with this section. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna assume that this allows, this bearing allows this bolt to turn freely. Um, Cause as you start putting this thing in a bind, these pieces right here aren't gonna wanna turn. It's got a collar, it's got an expander, and then it's got this tapered end so as you tighten this thing together, it pushes this expander over this piece here, which causes it to expand. And then what you've got is you've got different pieces depending on the size of tubing that you've got. So that's a second expander, they give you two depending on which one you're using. So this one here I believe is for uh, two and three eighths to two and three quarter inch tubing. This slides over like that. The tubing's gonna go over this. The way that this kit is designed, you take an impact wrench, you kind of run that thing in there. It's gonna expand this and expand whatever tubing you're using. Mild steel, aluminum, whatever it is. Now what I did, I haven't actually used it like this. I will tell you that it's way more robust this setup is way more robust than the other setup. You can see just the thread size, or maybe you can't. You can see just the thread size and bolt size is bigger on this one than this one. It's actually a lot bigger. Um, and then what it's doing is basically putting all the stress on these pieces here, not the aluminum. The aluminum itself just stretches. Um, whereas I think this piece here the actual bars themselves do the stretching and it's the mechanism, which is probably why they break. So anyway, just a better piece, right? Much bigger, better piece. 
Now, what I've done is I've basically taken this bolt that they supply with the kit out. Now, in all fairness, I will say that I haven't used this kit with an with a impact wrench, so I don't really know if it works really well, if it doesn't work at all. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this kit as it, st as it stands. So there's that bearing. Let's go inside there. But what I do is I like to use this little doodad and I just screw it down in there. And all this thing is is basically like a big stud. In past videos, I've shown you this little thing here. This is basically just a hydraulic knockout punch driver kit. So if you're in the electrical industry, you're probably pretty familiar with these. Basically what this does is it has these little dies. You can kind of put them on here and it'll punch little holes in, in sheet metal. I like this kit, I've used it before. I actually use it for these punch and flare dies that I've got. These punch and flare dies work very similar to just the knockout punch, except for that it'll put a flare or a bead in the panel itself. So you're probably pretty familiar with, you know, just a flare or a bead, right? And you can do these, you can use this with the impact as well, just like everything else here. But what I like to do is I actually pair this with those and you just drill the hole size for the adapter, which I think is like, I don't know, 9 16 hole. Once you got that hole kind of centered where you want it, you put the die in there and you attach this to the die couple pumps, that thing's gonna punch a hole in it and it's gonna either flare or or uh, put a bead in there for you. Kind of gives you that really cool look. So I've showed that in other videos, you can check those out up here. The thing that's really rad about this is that this kit, this hydraulic kit, comes with this adapter and the adapter that I've put in here, almost like it was meant to be. So anyway, put the second adapter in here. This one works the same way. You can basically just thread it in the end of this. Just like that. You put on whatever, whoop, wrong side. On whatever size you want, put your tubing over it. And then this thing, as you pump it, it's just gonna pull this piece in. flaring the center section. So you get the idea. You release this, it pushes this back out, shrinks back down, and get your tubing off. Uh, these dies, because there's only four of them, a lot of times you have to expand the tubing a little bit, give it just a little bit of a rotation and expand it a little bit more just to kind of keep it nice and true and round. So this little combo kit works awesome. Basically all you need, if you want to do any kind of punch and flare, you're punching holes in something, you want to put the flare dies in there, whatever, you just need to drill a hole with the unibit, the size of the adapter or the, the, the bolt hole itself just to get the pieces on there. Once you get that, it does the rest of the work. Punches it, flares it, or puts a bead in it. For this one, Put it in there, you can do some expansion uh, just through, well, you just seen how I did it. One downfall to this, this whole kit is phenomenal. And like I said, I haven't used it with this. Uh, I've heard that, I've heard really good things. This thing works really well. This is a little too slow for me. I try to want to speed up the process in here. Uh, and what I found with this one is this thing expands aluminum, no problem. No issues, super fast. If you're gonna do slip joints on aluminum, this will get the job done all day long. Now, when it comes to mild steel, or I did some aluminized the other day with this thing, um, and I'm sure stainless steel, I haven't tried it yet, but I know stainless steel is even tougher than those two. It will stretch it. It will expand it some, 
but the limitation is the actual hydraulic pump itself. You just can't put enough, uh, you can't put enough, you can't get enough leverage on this thing to really make it do what it needs to do power wise. So that's just kind of a little disclaimer. I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outfit this bad boy right here to my hydraulic bender that I've got for bending tubing. Uh, probably just make like a, a little station off to the side of that thing with a quick disconnect where I can just pop this thing in like that and have it be stationary. And then with the hydraulic bender itself, I can just hit the button, stretch it, you know, make it really fast and have a lot more power than just this handheld version has. I really like the handheld version. I like this whole setup. You can work in the cars with these. If you want to pop, you know, holes in interior sheet metal bracing, if you're just trying to lighten the car, you can, you can really do that with this fast. You can just drill a little hole, put the stuff together, pop those holes, put little cool little beads or, or flares in there and get the job done. You can take this thing wherever you need it to go and, and, and it'll work just fine. Aluminum tubing, the way that you see it, phenomenal. It will do others if you had to. You could probably make it work, probably not the best situation. Um, like I said, I haven't tried it with this. I probably need to. I'm just so afraid of you know stripping these threads or or you know marring it up in here and then ruin the whole kit. I mean I know that it's made for that, but all right, so there you go. The Lyle pipe expander kit. This week's tool. I'll include uh, links to well, this kit and some of these videos as well, because I think I've done this knockout punch set on a you need this tool, and I've also done these flares, and I think maybe even a combination of the two. So you can go check those out as well if they interest you. I'm back. I'm back with a brand new tool. Not really, but wanted to try to kind of redeem myself on that. This is a much better kit. Probably should have put this thing through a lot more tests before I actually did another one of these. But I feel pretty confident based on uh, some of my buddies having this exact kit and then the experiences that I've had so far with it. So just take that for what it's worth. All right guys, that's all I got for you. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. It's Friday, fool.